Wow, Madonna, who? Uh, it's the third day of Eid for us today. Moment and I, this Ramadan, crave Taco Bell literally the whole Ramadan. Yes, that's disgusting. Don't judge us. I'm not craving it anymore, I can tell you that much. Well, don't say that. It takes away from the. Okay, just Mokbang. kidding. All just right, kidding. So oh my god, I'm so excited. So thought, soft talk about my face. We, we thought that we should um, do a uh, post Ramadan mukbang. So we're gonna grab some food, we're gonna come back to the house, and we're gonna eat it for you guys. Wow, look at. The evolution of human Evolution? <laughs> evolution. <laughs> Look at the evolution <laughs> of the <laughs> human kind. They do have nacho fries. <gasps> no. Do you want to get one? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hi. Could I get a crunchy tacos? A, cr a crunchy taco supreme. Jesus. And could I get a, a chalupa with beans instead of meat? And a spicy potato soft taco? You want two or one nacho fries? One. one. Could we get one nacho fries? A Dorito yes. Loco Taco? Um, a Dorito Loco Taco. Alright. Okay. And then cheese quesadilla. And then a cheese quesadilla. Okay, we'll do Skittles strawberry. Alright, thank you. Thank you. 16 old oh, thanks for all that food. You gotta go under? Okay, please be careful. <laughs> ay, ay. Oh, oh, girl. Ay, ay. <laughs> you look like a seal. To see you. Hi! Baba? Oh. What? <laughs> I thought I heard you go out. Did you call me Baba? <laughs> Do you want it? Cause you're asking, asking for, for it. it. You're dying for it. Get off my, my back. back. What's up everybody? How's it going? So I already introed this I think, but we're doing a little uh, post Ramadan Eid. Eid? No, whatever. Mm -hmm. Post Ramadan mukbang. Cravings. Stop. Stop. What? I need to stop saying mukbang. Uh, you know, I thought we got more food than we did, but you know what? I did too. I'm an environmentalist. Uh, I'm a minimalist, so. <laughs> um, so, you know, I don't really like eating out too much. I don't like plastic. I don't like, uh, killing turtles and, and sea mammals. Of course, you and... see this metal straw here? So, anyway, so, uh, you know, I in mean, that, the whole thing in is that plastic, regard, but... you know, we try to minim, minim, what we could eat, you know, basically. Okay, so let's yeah. dig in. All right, okay. let's do it. Oh, girl. Mm, oh, girl. And we got lucky they have the nacho fries. Sometimes mm -hmm. they take those away, and that's like. Did they the not make it limited out. anymore, I guess? Mm, no, they do. They didn't have it before Ramadan. I was trying to. Eat so are them, they right? bringing it back like every other month? Mm. Okay, Bismillah. Dude, this is so good. Mm. Yo, I love this. We're gonna talk about how our Ramadan went. Um, I guess just Ramadan related stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Uh, I don't know how to eat. Mumina, how was your Ramadan? No. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think spiritually it was my best. Okay. Just cause like majority of it was during school. Mm -hmm. And like, I just like, I felt like I could never go to Tarawee. When, like, I'd come home from school and I'd be so tired, so I'd just, like, pray and then go to sleep. And I didn't really have time to do, like, the things that I wanted, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Which, like, sounds bad because I should have made time for that, but I didn't. Right after that, I got, sick, like, really sick for three days. So mm -hmm. then I couldn't fast for another three days, so I was really irritated by that. Yeah, don't you just hate when you miss fast? Because it's, like, one, you feel like you're it's not out. Ramadan mm -hmm. anymore for you. Like, you're disconnected from the feeling of Ramadan, right? Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is you have to make them up. So I went on a trip for work and uh, I didn't like it, but I had to go. I ended up traveling during Ramadan and it did not feel like Ramadan at all. I felt so disconnected. I was really irritated that I had to make up fast. I tried or that I have to make up fast. I tried to fast one of the days. Actually, it's easier to fast in a humid climate. I noticed I was less dehydrated for sure. Really? But because of the traveling, I was so tired and that's what messed up everything. So I think I definitely could have fasted and I was in Charleston, South Carolina. I definitely yeah, she went to, to Charleston once and then she came back thinking she was Southern. Mm-hmm. I started talking like this, y'all. What was interesting about Charleston? Um, it was a culture shock for me for sure. 
It's very different. I was disturbed because I felt Why? the history of that oh, place. Oh, okay. And I didn't, I have never really been in the South besides Texas, mm -hmm. but it, it felt like as an outsider, it felt very like in my face. I looked up the history of Charleston and everything started to make sense. Mm. Charleston was actually one of the biggest ports or like where a lot of the slaves in the U.S. came in from. Suffered a lot, man. So, you know your intuition? Mm -hmm. When you feel the jujus, you know. We should talk about juju. Okay, back to Ramadan. I'm back sorry. To Ramadan. How was your Ramadan, Tasneem? It wasn't that like, oh wow, like I just reached these, this amazing peak and it was amazing. But it was better than probably my previous Ramadan, so I'm happy about that. Okay, that's good. I definitely read a lot of books more than I would. Um, I still wasted a lot of time, but I feel like, you know, I felt spiritually, I felt like I I, I still tried hard. That's good. Even mm -hmm. if I didn't succeed, I feel right. like I tried hard. Okay, I gotta, I gotta eat my chalupa now. Did you lose any weight during Ramadan? I don't think about? I lost, like, pounds per se, but I definitely lost inches. Like, when I look at myself, I'm like... I feel like my stomach area got smaller for sure. Did you measure before? I only weighed I measured myself. my weight. I didn't measure my inches. Yeah. That's the thing. You got to measure your inches. That's not the purpose of Rebelon mm -mm. per se, but... It's just interesting to see. I fit into... Like, there was a suit that I was trying to fit into. Or, like, I needed altered to get it bigger. Mm -hmm. Before Ramadan. And I was trying it on at the end of Ramadan to show the lady the alterations, how much I needed. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't believe I could actually get it over my body and take it off because oh before God. Ramadan I was struggling yeah they put way too much beans in this my god okay people who work out during Ramadan I don't understand you I don't get it I just don't get it I feel like people don't do weights during Ramadan like people who are like like gym um, like uh what is it gym rats no I met I know people who still do their workout routine and I'm like the regular workout routine yeah or like that's something crazy like that. I'm like when the Ramadan came around I was like no mm -hmm. I don't I'm not doing nothing no, now that it's over though, I'm like very motivated to go back. If you're in school, mm -hmm. or if you have a work schedule, when are you going to work out? Exactly. And I don't mean to be that person, but like, I feel like in Ramadan, you should be spending your time differently. Okay. Than you would normally. Like, I feel like in but Ramadan- But that's better than like, same people, like they'll go to like, the no. gym, but like other people spend their time like, you know, on their phone watching food videos. Like in that sense, I think they're- you know what I mean? No, that's not what I'm arguing, but okay. I think that fitness should not be your focus during Ramadan. Right. I feel like instead of going to the gym after you break your fast, I think you should be going to Tarawih or whatever. Like, okay. I think there's other things you should be doing. That's my opinion. There's also people who, like, want to start fitness in Ramadan. That's weird to me. I watch a lot of TV coming from me. As a child, I watched a lot of TV. Momina, you watch a lot of TV. I'm on summer. I don't have the job yet. That's true. And I still haven't gotten my summer homework books. So I don't have anything to do. And Ramadan just you ended. You can study for your SAT. What do you oh mean you God, don't have anything? I have to retake it. Why do you say that? And then you're going to get close to the time to take it and you're going to be like, oh my God. I'm not ready. You know, all you do is nag me. That's you just, you love to do that. Future kids, God help you. Was that cheese? Ew. Ew. Yeah. So, you have Yo, this food is, I have no regrets. I don't eat it. I thought I wasn't going to enjoy it. You know the hard thing about Ramadan is like, you crave something the whole day. And then it comes. You're so full, like after one plate of food. Not even, sometimes it's that, that mm -hmm. you're so full. Sometimes it's literally like, you're like I, that is the last thing I want to eat now. Like when you actually break your fast. Yeah. Like I was dreaming of chai, right? Mm -hmm. Or like having some sort of drink. And then I break my fast, and I'm like, I, that, I do not want any of it. Right. In past Ramadans, I have stayed away from sugar. Uh -huh. This was the first Ramadan, I was like, I don't care. I just ate what I wanted. Mm -hmm. So I definitely didn't lose as much weight. Okay. But I feel like I wasn't as weak this Ramadan. Last Ramadan, I was super weak. Oh my god. Like, like the physical health? Yeah, like I felt sick the whole, like I just wanted Ramadan to be over. Mm -hmm. Like I was just done. Momina loves Bretman Rock. Right? Here's the reason why. Okay, when he's like genuinely funny, okay? And like when you see him, like you just smile, like you just do. Second of all, he's like the least problematic person in the beauty community. And I'm okay. here for it. I'm really I'm here for really... it. And he's a Leo, so. I was so surprised by his running stuff, and that made me like him. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, look, how, look how easily the public is just manipulated. But, I. 
I saw that his Nike thing and I was like, damn, he runs. He was on track and it just, it made him feel relatable. To I've me. been following him for a really long time, so I knew that. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Well, I thought when he would lift weights and stuff, he was just trying to be funny. Oh my God, I love when he does his little workout he, like, videos. <laughs> I was like, for a period of time, watching, um, uh, what's his name, Jeffree Star. Like oh my god, her Jeffree Star phase. Yeah, because I watched the Shane documentary and then the whole uh, watch James. It and it's like addicting. Like it's like it's kind of like a car accident. You know what I mean? Like you want to look away, but you just keep looking. No, I don't think it's like a car. That's accident. how it is for me. Car accidents are very tragic. Why you have to take everything there? Sorry. The whole James Charles stuff happened, and during Ramadan, I was like. Just name, don't participate in gossip. Even reading these stories is gossip. And I would listen to podcasts. I don't even about. know what happened. I just know Tati was like, oh my God, he assaults people. And then everybody took sides. And that's all I know. I took sides. I didn't, but I'm I didn't pay my... attention to it because it really is like, it just irritates me that like stupid stuff like that gets all the headlines and all the attention when they're like people dying and we're all focused like, oh my God, James Charles and Sugar Bear Hair Care. Who gives a shit? Watch your mouth. Yo, I killed that chalupa. It's job, done. Mm. I still have my top, soft taco. I'm so satiated. I was kind of actually like dreading this because I was like, eh, I don't really want Taco Bell anymore. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Just hit the spot. You know one more Ow. thing about Ramadan that you realize? Mm. Some people may disagree, but you realize food is not as good as you think it is. Like, listen, listen. Okay. Like, you could be craving your favorite restaurant, right? And okay. then you eat it after Ramadan, right after Ramadan, or you eat it for iftar, and you realize it's like not as amazing as you. Oh. Okay, okay, I can see that. I feel that way. This is not related, but like when I went to Pakistan, all I wanted, like the first thing I wanted when I came back, was Chipotle. And when I had it, mm -hmm. it was like, like you know how sometimes you overhype things in your head. Yes, that's what I mean. No, it wasn't like that. Like I was so happy and oh. like satisfied oh so it, and it like lived up to the hype okay there was a reason i missed it so much damn we killed that yeah hell yeah oops sorry, i burped so do you miss ramadan i always miss ramadan when it goes i miss it like a week later like right now i'm not missing it but like, like in like once it hits me that like i don't ew there's sauce everywhere once it, do you sauce. want sauce i have sauce I'm eating the cheese right now. Girl, all your cheese fell out. I was talking about air turtle and our obsession. Okay, we started air turtle in November. For those of you who don't know, it's like a Turkish... I don't want to say soap opera. It's not a soap It's like a drama. It's about like Islamic history and like the start of the Ottoman Empire and everything. And it is so good. There's four seasons on Netflix. And there are a hundred mm -hmm. hundred episodes per season. I don't know what I just said. Do you want the fries? I want a couple. Okay, let's take them out. Each episode is uh, 40 minutes. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Recommendation. Yeah, and then we, our mom started watching it, and that yeah, our is mom, like a serious addiction. I've never seen my mom binge watch anything in her life. Oh, I almost poked my eye. Um, yeah, yeah. She watched 50 episodes in one week. She fast forwards to them though. Mm -hmm. She's smart. Some of it is just so slow. It's just like their faces. Like so much of it is just faces. Dude, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like I can see how that would be propaganda. Like for Muslims? Yeah. Like well, obviously. Yeah. Cause we don't live in Turkey, so we don't know. But I don't know. Well, what do I know? I have not been getting sleep for the past 30 days, as you can see by my bags, which I tried to cover, but they're still there. Um. So Eid day, I like, I genuinely tried to go back to sleep, but I came back home from Chandrath at like 12. So then I just like t took off my makeup, went to sleep maybe at like 1. But we had to wake up at 6. And then I mean, bust into the room at 6.45. And she's like, you almost missed the prayer because of you. You should have gone No, earlier. it wasn't because of me. Because the night before, like Chandrath, they were like, before I left, they were like, you need to be ready by 7.45 tomorrow. And then she wakes me up. She's like, we need to be ready by 7.30. And I'm like... Who told you 7.45? Here's the thing. My if mom the, told me okay, 7.45. If the namaz is at 8.45. Okay, an hour and to leave. And there's like 500 Muslims going to the same place. Girl, it was not 500 Muslims. It's like thousands. Yeah, okay. If it's thousands of Muslims, a thousand Muslims, whatever, going to the same place, how do you think that an hour is enough time to park, walk all the way from where you're going to have to park so far away we and get there on time? Stop. 
Just saying. Bro, it happens every year. Oh! God, I'm not in the mood. I want my clip. No. You hit my eye. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, I don't want a hug. I want a hug. I'm very mus- uh, oh. My muscles are very sore. Are you so trying to out. say I'm very muscular? I almost said that. <laughs> Oh my god, I, I, was, so, I was so mad at Rima when uh, she came over and she like, she touched her and she was like, she was like, Gilich, have you been working out? And Tosneem's ego, the second she said that, she was like, yeah, I have. And I was like, girl, you have not been to the no. gym since before Ramadan. Like, that's what do you mean? Yeah, I've been working out. No. That's exactly said, what happened. No, it's not. Yes, it she is. She went like this, and I don't even know why she was touching my arm, honestly. And she was like this, she's like, wow, Gilich. And I was like, oh, thanks. Thanks. And I was like, she's like, wow. I was like, yeah. And I was jokingly, but I meant it obviously, but I was joking. And I said, <laughs> and I said, I said, oh, it's because I work out. And I, I was joking, I but obviously, but I was joking. I was saying it like this. Like I was joking, like I was saying it in a joking way. Okay. I said, you have a crumb on your nose. I felt something there. Okay. All right. So I was like, I was like, yeah, I work out. And then I was like, just kidding. I don't work out. And then I was like. Actually, I do work out. You're running. No, sorry, sorry. Explanation. Sorry. Can you finish the last half? You tell the story. I'm gonna do that. You do that all the time to me, except you just cut me off. You want to go back to your old videos? And that's the tea. <laughs> Ew, you're so cringe sometimes. You're cringe. To sneeze. I'm a mature woman now. Okay. I don't care. What's, I saw the. What's cool? Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yes, thank you. Um, this thing has been wiggling. If you want to see more of me, which I'm sure you do, uh, don't cut that out. Just say thank you for watching. We're well, done. I don't want to see. Please just say thank you for watching so we can leave. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I am hoping to have a bunch of videos. Um, I'm banking them up, so they'll be coming out in July, starting July. So look out for those. Um, like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, that's it. Tazzy Faith. Out. Bye. You didn't do it. Do I need to?